Hey everybody, I'm Psychoclasm, and for once, it's been two days since I recorded this. Like, it's usually been a week between, because I just, uh Like, the time commitment has just been brutal, but I cannot wait on this. This is awesome. Okay, last time I skipped... I skipped the preview. Last time, we found out that the charming Mr. Jefferson has been creepy all along, like I thought. The question they didn't answer, oh yeah, Chloe's dead. The question they didn't answer is, why is Mr. Jefferson creepy? Like they implied, I don't know. You know what, let's just let it go. It looks like a mug instead of a lens, that's so cool. They actually do make mugs like that, by the way, that are like camera lenses, super cool stuff. But yeah, Mr. Jefferson knows that Chloe's dead. He knows where she's buried. And he tricked me and Chloe into going to the junkyard. Then he injected something into my neck to knock me out, which made it impossible for me to use my time rewinding powers. And then sh just shot Chloe, just drilled her right through the whatever part of your head this is. Okay, yeah, this is the same bunker. That's the thing they never answered. I mean, they it was kind of a quick reveal. This is, as far as I know, this is clearly Nathan's bunker. Like, there's emails from his dad. Like, it's the same type of art that he has. Holy... What? And Nathan obviously knows about it because he said, because he's got that weird scribbly art of. Uh, Anybody out there? Rachel Amber in the dark Please room. It was a bunch help. of scribbles. I can't remember. Maybe don't scream because right. if he hears you, he's going to come back. I can see all my things, but I can't grab it. Okay. Detach. Hell yeah. <laughs> Okay. Somebody help me! Uh, Hell yeah! Oh, finally, I'm free. Almost. Almost. Wait, really? Oh, okay, trolley. How do I pull? Yeah, there we go. Pull with foot. But yeah, like, it's normally like, oh, I've got to sit there for three hours and I've got to sit there for God knows how long to edit this. I could not wait on this. I need to know. Okay. God, I don't remember anything that happened. Okay. I hate looking at myself like that. You'll pay for this, Jefferson. It's me? I couldn't tell. Okay. So, what do I need? Sir syringe? No? Hang on. Oh, okay. I promise. I thought I was looking for like a knife or something. Like this again. But this we is promise the only that. Way. I don't remember that. Yeah, how the fuck? How the fuck is this gonna work? I'm gonna go back to a time when I was unconscious. Oh, that looks to be about it. There we go. Oh, red. That's weird. Oh, don't be creepy. I mean, he's already being creepy. It's too late. This angle highlights your purity. See. The slightly unconscious model is often the most open and honest. No vanity or posing, just pure expression. Oh Christ, look at that perfect face. Did he change my clothes? I don't remember Max wearing anything black. Hold no, no. Stare there. Stay still! Don't pose or anything, just do exactly what I'm telling you to do. I knew he was creepy. I fucking knew it. Oh, Max! You fucked up my shot! But please don't worry. We have all the time in the world. For now. <laughs> we have all the I time in the world for now. You were special the second I saw your first selfie. Yes. I still hate that word. I'm sorry, are you but taking I pictures with a camcorder? The purity of your own image. Not like Rachel, who was always looking in the wrong places. Poor Rachel. Wait. Let me try this angle. 
What the actual fuck? Kick him in the nuts! Don't move! <sighs> Much better. Thanks, Max. If only Nathan could see this setup. He tried so hard. But you can't just throw a few subjects around and expect a cohesive style or theme. Wait, what? But he had an eye for shadows and an eye for a whole lot more. As his elite family will find out. Wait, did Jefferson steal Arcadia Nathan's Bay? rape bunker? Nice. Good. Oh, those eyes. It's just too bad you're so goddamn nosy, Max. But this room is under 24-7 surveillance, so all I had to do was text you from Nathan's phone. Why are you explaining your... Into my Why are you explaining your grand plan? You really should have focused on schoolwork, not private detecting with your little friend. Chloe. Chloe, right. Yeah, I'm sorry that I killed it, that Nathan killed her in self-defense. But she had a troubled history like most Arcadia Bay dropouts. Nobody will be surprised or care. Though I promise, people will care when you die tonight, Max. I wasn't lying when I said you have a gift. Okay. Now this looks good. Maybe a few more close-ups. Okay, current guess is that he saw some of Nathan's doing this. Max, please do not move so much. And threatened to expose him. And framed my way. And blackmailed him to get access to this room Lydia, so he could do what he wanted. A new dose will calm you down. Oh, no. No. Okay, where's the crawl button? Come on, let's go, let's go. I did not jump into this photo for nothing. Come on. Now don't move or this will hurt much. Idiot. Stupid bitch! You just don't listen, do you? In fact, you never did hear much in my class. If you had, you might have seen all this come to you. I did! God, damn, you are a fighter, though. I've had my eye on you, and I've noticed that you've been more fearless this week than maybe your whole life. Remember my number one rule. Always take the shot. Ugh, the puns. Wait, really? Did I just waste my trip back in... Oh my god. Wait, I just... Am I being forced back into the present? Because I didn't... I can't believe that happened. So sick. Oh, wait, I didn't... The thing I changed is what sent the reaction for. What the fuck?! So the thing I changed is what set up the reaction to go forward. Okay. Uh, photo. Do I... Can I focus again? No. That picture isn't going to help. And I can't go through all that again. I won't. Okay, can I... Victoria. Hey, Victoria. It's Max. Can you hear me? Max. Oh, God. Where... Where are we? Oh, what's happening? You've been drugged like Kate. And me. That's the Max folder. Do you remember how you got here? No. I don't know. Wait, you warned me. You warned me about Nathan. Then, then I went to Jefferson for help and he was acting so weird. Should I shouldn't have warned her? That's the last thing I oh remember. Oh my god. And I can't move my head. Oh, I'm so please, mad. Please, I'm sorry for everything. Listen carefully. Mark Jefferson kidnapped us. He's using Nathan as well. Jefferson is very dangerous, so we have to get out of here before he comes back. Max, I just can't believe this is real. I don't want to die like this. I'm only 
18. <laughs> okay. Nobody's going to die. Confident. Just hold on, Victoria. Nobody is going to die. Anymore. Max, what's going on? I thought you said Nathan was dangerous. But it was actually Mark? Mr. Jefferson? Yeah, you're still calling him Mark. Wrong. It's weird. I should have known that Nathan couldn't do all this on his own. Do? He's been dodging the police. What's going to happen to us? Oh, please get us out of here. I'm not going to let that asshole get away with this. I just, I need you to be strong. I can't do this alone. We need to act while we're clear-headed. If he doses us again, we'll forget everything. I'm not strong, Max. Look at me. Look what I did to Kate Marsh. Now she's in the hospital, and I'm here. Man, we're both here could alternately be hopeful and terrifying. <laughs> like, yeah, he kidnapped two girls at once. We're fucked. Oh, uh, I still don't, like, in light of this, I still don't regret letting Warren beat the living shit out of Nathan. Like, I thought about that afterward. It's just like, should I have done that? And it's like, absolutely. He has faced no consequences for anything. Okay. Uh, boy. Like, getting punched in the face is the only consequences he's gotten. Like, we saw him murder somebody, maybe accidentally, in the first episode of this. Like, something needs to be done about him. We're both here. We're both here. Okay? I just can't believe this Two 18-year-old girls can easily overpower this guy. This to me. To us. Victoria, we will find a way to escape. I promise. Max, I believe you. Wow. Okay, so what is this new look? Oh, I'm definitely more awake in this photo. I could try this one. And why does it want me to see the camera? I'd really like to smash that fancy camera into Jefferson's face. Okay. Broken what? Broken... vial? Okay. I broke those vials when I kicked the trolley. Oh, so we need to kick the trolley some more so he can't dose us again, maybe. I don't know. Whoa. I I'm definitely more awake in this photo. I could try this one. This might work. Please, Wait, did he go and Victoria? Did he go and get Victoria like after he brought me? That's so weird. Oh, right. I forgot how this works. That still seems out of focus to me, but it's good enough. I'm getting some spectacular images here, Max. Yes. Victoria would kill to be in your place, but she doesn't understand our connection. I don't either. You're really. <laughs> the winner, Max. I choose you. Your portrait. Fuck you. You're trying too hard. I know you're scared. You all have the same doe-eyed look when you wake up here. That would be the drug. Replaced by fear as you realize what's about to happen. Mr. Jefferson, why are you doing this? <laughs> Max. Yeah, what do you call somebody you have I'm no so respect glad you for? I'm that question. Uh, simply put, I'm obsessed with the idea of capturing that moment innocence evolves into corruption. That shift from black to white to gray and beyond. Most models are cynical. They lose that naivete. However, some Blackwell students carry their hope and optimism with them like an aura. And those lucky few become my models. My I'm subjects. so lost. Yes. You're a psychopath. Yes. And this is your last session. Au contraire, Max. I'm so sane that nobody knows what's happening to you right now. No, that's not sane. That's careful. As you can see, Sleeping Beauty here is too harsh for my gentle lens. And don't get me started on your late partner. I had enough of those faux punk sluts in my Seattle days. Oh yeah, God, we need to go back even further, don't we? Uh, 
We kill Chloe or go to hell. Hmm. He killed Chloe, like he knows, and he's probably happy about that. Or it could be driving home the point that he's going to be investigated for murder. But he already said Nathan did it, so I'm going to go with go to hell. Go to hell. You will for everybody you've hurt. Unlike pure sweet Kate Marsh, I don't believe in that bullshit. She could have been my masterpiece. The world is what an artist makes it. And my muse. Oh, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. God, I hate your voice now. You might as well savor it, considering it's the last you'll hear. Oh. <laughs> that struck a nerve. Your face changed color. Beautiful. He doesn't you care that Kate's arrived. This. I want you to know that. Too bad you already made a convincing argument against Nathan in the principal's office. Thank you so much for setting him up for me. I do know that the Prescotts are going to have a major scandal when the town finds out what their elite son has been doing for homework. Uh, he's as sick as you isn't exactly accurate. He's probably more sick than you. Just less adept at doing things. He's as sick as you. Don't judge people, Max. But that's why Nathan don't judge people. Well. Asshole! Why is it the people? Why is it always the people who say don't judge people are the people who need to be judged? Oh God! Mm. That makes two of you. I hope Nathan realizes vision. So few people get that chance. You brainwashed him. I became a sort of father figure for Nathan. It happens often in teacher-student relationships. It was kind of touching for a while. Did you tell him everything? Yeah, this about happens your all the time. Blackwell? Says the psychopath. Stupid, Max. I told him what he needed to hear. In return, I had access to the Prescott fortune. Who do you think paid for this glorious dark room and equipment? His dad. There was an How invoice with his name on it. Could I get all these hip new drugs for my subjects? Rachel Amber was your victim, not your subject. Oh. Rachel that's the real tragedy. Nathan thought he could be an artist like me. Instead, the dumbass gave her an overdose. I don't know what either of these is going to lead to. Why, Rachel? I don't have time to tell you everything. But she was special. A human chameleon, so many visual possibilities. Oh yeah, she did seem to fit in real connection. However she needed to. I wouldn't have thought to ask either of these questions. I don't think Frank has anything to do with it. Did she let you Weirdly take enough, pictures of her? Other than supplying Rachel, the drugs that Nathan was needed. Was in love with me? That's not my ego. Just look at our sessions. Not that I'll let you. Nobody loved having their picture taken more. Anyway, Rachel is dead. But no tears. Los Angeles would have killed her anyway, so look at this as a favor. You're evil. Oh, I see. You and your friends almost beat Nathan to death. See, we're not so different. No, yes, almost. Yes, we are. Almost is a very, very important thing there. No, you didn't. It's just too bad that he fell in lust with Rachel. He actually thought he could mimic what I do with the camera and subject, like father, but not like son. Where is Nathan now? Dead and buried. After what he did to Rachel, I knew I couldn't keep him as a protege for much longer. Now the police will never find his body. Do you finally get it now, Max? I can't compromise my vision with amateurs. You are an amateur. Look at the trail of death you left behind. You can't blame all this on Nathan. I don't care what you do to me. You're gonna die, motherfucker. For Chloe and Rachel and everybody else. I do love your spirit, Max, but you brought yourself here. By your own choice. Yeah, but then I left and went to a party. I models to be seen and not heard. So I have to make sure 
there's nothing left behind of you. Okay. All right. Let's kick now, the leg. Let's see how these shots came out. I can see why your instant camera is so appealing. You don't need a computer to print your workout. Could I have? I had a choice. Okay, well, you have a choice camera here. camera is so appealing. You don't need a computer to print your workout. Okay. Okay. I need to find okay. something. Okay, speak. Wait. Please, uh, Mr. Jefferson. Max, I would love to talk shop, but I really need to go over these pictures, especially while they're fresh in my mind. I think our session was a career high for me. Let's see. Show me the photos to play to his ego. Could you show me the photos? That's the first time one of my models down here has asked me that. Of course you would. While he goes to get them. But I love that the last thing you'll ever see is yourself through my camera eye. Too perfect. Okay. Do I have another option or is he going straight to the music? So I've got to do something that changes his mind. There's a reason they let me do... There's a reason they let me do something. And I don't know if it's talking to him or... Oh. I have another choice. There's another moment of choice. Okay. He's here. Okay. Now... I have all those photos in my diary. This could be a way out. Okay. So that's... Okay. So that's a... Talky now, thing. Okay, my diary. You... You still have my diary. Don't worry. Nobody's going to read it. Thanks for reminding me. There's nothing more innocent than a teenager's diary. Okay, that redirected him. Oh. Look at your selfies. What I don't know why I need to stop him from putting on music, though. Look at that shot, Max. You can do so much better. He put it close to me. How does that help me? <gasps> photo! I can focus on the photo. I can go back. Can I go back again from where I am? Oh my god. I can go all the way back to them. Oh my god. Yeah, focus on it. I can go all the way back to the moment this all started. Max. This could be your chance to fix everything. Did I have it right immediately? I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. See? I called it! I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word I'm back. for a wonderful photographic trick. Right back where I started this insane week. And nobody course, is going to hurt Chloe know, ever again. Cool. Been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie. So how does this work? Like, sorry. Can I, I leave the surface? Can I leave the, the photo after? The portraiture has always. I've seen this already. Can I leave the photo after? I'm supposed to be out of it. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please? Tell us the name of the process that gave birth. I know to about the, the dark room. <laughs> We're not gonna do it, are we? Ooh, a real visionary not capturing. Who cares? Who cares? This class is hella bullshit. Uh, hella bullshit. I'll pretend you didn't say that, and let you try to answer one more. Sorry, there's no time left. I mean, your class is almost over. Oh. Well. Thanks for the warning, Max. So, the Daguerrean process made portraiture quite popular. <laughs> what, so the goal is Mainly just to make him less interested in me? clear to find features. You can learn more when you finish reading the assigned chapters. Clearly, Max doesn't have the, uh, time. 
And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo when the everyday time heroes to change time. The winner to San Francisco, where you'll be fed by the first. Arts. Let's make it real easy to capture Mark Jefferson. And Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Bastard. It's weird that that didn't change anything. Okay. I have to warn David about Jefferson and the dark room. Who's David again? Madsen! Okay. So, cell phone. Look. All I need is David's number, and Jefferson is one text closer to life without parole. Okay. I hope I still love photography when this is done. Okay, how Don't do I get... Confuse the how do I get artist. Jefferson's number? Bast... Or not Jefferson's, Madsen's number. I should be able to track down David's number from the school pamphlet. Found you. Okay. Please, okay, just tell me that I don't have to do this manually. You know what? I'm going to take a picture anyway. Okay, back. Cell phone. Warn David. For once, David, I'm praying you'll overreact to this as much as everything else. And take Jefferson down fast. Hi, Mr. Madsen. You're after Rachel Amber. Mark Jefferson is guilty. The dark room is under the Prescott's farmhouse. You know the location. He's sick and dangerous. Stop him. Oh, it says it right there in the subtitles. I was trying to read it. What the? You wanted me to enter the oh. contest, asshole. So maybe I'll be going to San Francisco. And Jefferson, you'll be going to prison. Okay. The past within the past. Yeah. Am I pushing myself too hard? Okay. Notebook. Victoria, it's nice to know how you really feel. My phone is dead and I'm bored. Time to bust out my posy. Why did I give up word for the image? Because I suck, but Martin Jefferson rules. Everybody in here loves him, but he only seems to care about Max C. I want to hate her, but she wouldn't care. Envy is a sin, Vic. Get over yourself. Oh, that's so sad. So she wanted to be a poet, but then she got obsessed with Jefferson? That blows. It doesn't matter what happens to me. I'm happy to fix it, so you'll be here to get your fancy camera, Victoria. Okay, so... Oh, hello. Hi, Kate. Could I have done this in the first oh. time? Could I have... Hey, Max. Could I have Kate. made her feel better about the ball? Listen to me. The paper ball they threw at her? I am. Always remember that you're not alone. I've got your back no matter what happens. So do a lot of other people. We all care. We're all here for you. You need to know that. Max, this is creepy! That makes me feel so blessed for the first time this week. I, I don't know what to say. That's okay. Just give her a hug. Neither do I. Maybe we could both use Sweet a hug. called that. Awesome. Oh, big hug. Yeah. Thanks. You always know the right thing to do. Okay, now we gotta go pick up the paper ball and see if it just says, OMG, do you want a date? This is the last time somebody bullies you, Kate. Oh. Yeah, fuck them. Alright, so what now? Like, I can't leave, so... Well, he, uh, he accosted me at the door, so... I can't go past these photo boundaries, so... I need to fix everything from here. Mr. Jefferson? We need to talk. Uh, Can you see I'm talking to Mr. Jefferson now? Yes, I see. But maybe you shouldn't. Uh, and why not? Hold on, Victoria. Are you okay, Max? <laughs> I will no, no, there's Victoria evidence here. Shut up. <laughs> hiding behind a screen. Posting videos of people is incredibly cruel and unfair. You're smart enough to know how easy it is to hurt somebody. To destroy their life. I just want you to think about how much it would hurt if somebody did that to you. You can always make the right choice, Victoria. I know you've got a good heart. I've seen it. Listen, I... I didn't... You don't have to explain. There's no reason for you to be so insecure that you can't be happy with your own talent. <laughs> Wouldn't it be better to lift people up than to bring them down? You could inspire people. Okay, I don't know what you're talking about now, do I, Mr. Jefferson? I think I should stay out of this one, Victoria. What? 
<laughs> then I guess I'm done talking. And that's okay, too. Okay. That was kind of random, Max. What did you mean? Here's my photograph for the Everyday Heroes contest. Oh, uh, that was easy. No. It wasn't easy at all. Well, I, uh... I, I can't prejudge yet, but I'm very happy you decided to enter. That means a lot to me. And Blackwell. Did I use the, the first thing that I just for took? Any artist is to put themselves out there in the world without fear. To be innocent. Or guilty. Uh, we don't need to do wordplay. Just thanks. For just, the just say I know about the dark room and end it. Maybe both of us will be jet setting to San Francisco this Friday. Or maybe only one of us will be going. Don't yeah, be so modest, Max. Anything can happen in a week. There's really no need for double entendres. This just be, I know I know. I know I know crimes. Okay. This is weird. Are they just driving home the fact that we kept everything else the same? Oh shit! Wow! Damn, okay. 30 minutes in, everything's fixed. This is great. Oh, wait, I'm still in the bunker. Hey, we got to hang out after what's his face got arrested. Taxi to where? That's weird. Whoa. No, I should still be in the bunker. Right? Oh wait, no, I showed okay. up in Chloe's room after I changed everything. You're okay, Max. You're safe. I want to play. Oh my god, it's the hot dog man. I hope I did everything right this time. Good work, David. Excuse me, sir. Can, can you wake up? Yeah, let's review our text messages from the week. Chloe. Oh, you're alive. Oh, you're alive. Yeah! I did it. I fixed everything. Well, sir. Okay, so I feel like the one moon fading out was supposed to indicate that all the timelines are converging, but we just went and changed another one, so I don't know... I don't know what... I don't know what to think anymore. That's not good. That's... that's really fucking bad. Be Why careful. am I in a photo? I'm still between realities, and... I can't oh, because this should this be the past. Long. Okay, so this is where I should be... At the time, I jumped into the first photo. So I'm still within the past, just not within the past within the past. So I've still got to somehow make it forward. Oh, that's weird. How do I... Do I just watch, Mr... Aw, oh, I haven't seen Hot Dog Man in forever. Chloe and I used to totally play the video game and watch him all There's the time. a series based on this guy? We were innocent. I can't wait to let him Frisco. Uh, nobody calls it Frisco, so please don't. Okay, let's watch Hot Dog Man on our own. I guess. Oh my god, is this crane is this plane gonna crash? I'm so stressed, but I'm so Is that why I didn't go all the way to the future? Do I die here? I have to admit, I love being called an artist. It's here we go. So weird to be Plane's gonna explode. Realities. Everything is out of focus and in the distance. Oh. Oh, maybe I'm just waiting. Shut off your phone, sir. Please 
fasten your seat and stow any electronic gear until the plane is on the ground and I've got to stop that guy with his cell phone. He's going to crash the plane. In a few minutes. It's a Wait, is that in San Francisco with Is that Jefferson with the longer beard? 60 degrees. Is that Jefferson with a shaved beard? Thank you very much for choosing Pacific West Air. Come fly. Is that Jefferson but black? I'm kidding. Uh, I don't think so. I'm hoping these airline seats get smaller so I won't have to fly at all anymore. How did you sleep? Hope I wasn't snoring out loud, Max. Just a bit. So why was so why was the principal talking it's to Jefferson in his car though? Point. That never got answered for me. So I hope you'll forgive me. Between Mr. Jefferson and Prescott's, things have been hectic, to say the least. I totally get it, Principal Wells. That's a smart way of telling me to stop one. <laughs> we are proud of you for representing Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes contest. I also, know I need I'm a vacation. Not exactly the guy you wanted in San Francisco. No, you're better than the other guy. Want you to have a great experience here. I already am, and we're not even there. Trust me, don't want Jefferson escorting me anywhere alone. Oh, Christ. Another nosebleed? Max, you're we gotta not hurry just up. screwing around with time. We gotta hurry up and do whatever we're doing. Okay. Okay. Sweet. I'm sorry. Who is the everyday hero getting onto a private jet? Oh, maybe this isn't all the everyday heroes. Why'd you zoom in on that person? Did Jefferson break out of jail? Oh, prosthetic. Okay. It's like cyborg arm. And I guess that's kind of accurate. <gasps> Tiny meats. San Francisco is so cool. And this gallery is huge. So is the buffet. If an event skimps on the food, you know it's a bad event. As long as I don't have to eat caviar. This is your day, Max. You can do whatever you want. I hope you take advantage of your status and talk to as many influential people here as possible. Work the room. Something I don't know. terrible is about I to happen. It's so weird. Like, I'm a little kid hanging with the adults. Max, after this week, you are certainly not a little kid anymore. Everything is In too fact, good. <laughs> you're a noteworthy adult being honored by your peers. Now you have to start acting like the photographer you want to be. There's no Hell, way everything's solved. I want to be in charge of a big school someday. So I started taking charge of things when I was young. <laughs> Ask my poor classmates. Like the alcohol. Max, I'm going to eat up that caviar so you don't have to. Uh, better get in there and start schmoozing. You know, I won't always be here to take charge. But you come talk to me whenever you want. Like, this is the part come of the movie on, where it's like, this is your After big day, and then happened, everything comes crashing down and it was all a dream. Scary thing you've ever done. All right, so I need to go find... Oh, Max. You did it. Somehow. <laughs> I went from the dark room to this gallery... I've been through so many realities in one week. Poor I Deborah Marcus ruining the square. Weird. Okay, so do I need to find people to talk to, or...? It's great to read all these comments. Even the mean ones. So inspiring. Not as good as last year's show. Totally makes me want to stay taking more photos. The future of photography starts here. Lisa Simpson. Zzz. The heroes chose the path of least regret. That's... I don't know how to parse that. Great example of total surveillance. Their 15 minutes are almost up. Thanks, this is so nice. Inspiring stuff. Steve. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. So... Camera! <laughs> Wait. 
Am I about to take a photo of a camera? <sighs> no! What is wrong with you? You can't just steal somebody's photo! You can't just steal somebody's camera. Also, did I just replicate my photo of me looking at my photos that I submitted to the contest? Aren't you from Blackwell Academy? I wanted to go there, but I didn't get in. They have such a cool program. I bet you're learning a lot. <laughs> Sorry, all I can focus on is like bold and brash over there in the background. Oh my god. I just stole that lady's camera. Whoop, that was wrong. I just stole that lady's camera and took a picture of her without asking. Oh, I'm probably supposed to find my picture of myself and end up being forced to jump into it for some reason. I, I do not understand art. I do not understand art, I do declare. Okay, are you going to be creepy well, about this? I have to say, this is the best everyday hero show I've seen since it began. All the pictures say a lot about our times. Bravo. I guess everybody is a photographer now. I can't tell if that's snobby or okay. Loving the retro vibe. Me too. Hi, excuse me, you're Max Caulfield, right? Um, How do you know yeah. this? Yes. Sorry, we have a special Bobby, basement room. Danny Lee, and I'm with the Berkeley People's Herald. Don't touch I me. I edit their art section, and I totally dig your work. Now, I know the whole ironic selfie thing is kind of played out, but there's something timeless about your images. So I I'd love to set up an appointment or, or interview with you when you get a chance. Uh, here's my card. So great talking with you, Max. You too, Danny. <laughs> yes, I, I, I added so much to this conversation. Thank you. Oh, shit. This is my photo. I still don't get how this fits the theme of everyday heroes. Unless Hi, it's just anxiety. There she is to save the day. Hi. I don't get art in the first place, so. You did it, Max. You're a real artist. At least for today. And then the gallery blows up. <gasps> Wait, am I still not back in reality? Are you okay? We lost uh, you there for a second. Your nose. I'm okay. Uh, your nose. Jet lag. High altitude. Wait. Like. Oh, you left the ringer off, idiot. Oh, come on. Please answer. What? Wait, did I not explain my time Chloe, travel powers to Chloe? I'm so fucking scared. I'm, I'm by the beach. I'm, Chloe, I'm can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Oh my god. The tornado was real. Oh, I didn't fix shit. Chloe will die. Arcadia Bay is going to be destroyed. It's not a matter of you not fixing shit. It just seems like a, there has a matter to be a of way scope. To stop this. For good. Like, yeah, you completely ignored telling everybody to evacuate to save Chloe, but you did still do good. So I guess I should just leave. Just leave, or... Uh, should I call somebody, or... Oh, gotta go back to my picture. Probably. I heard Mark Jefferson was supposed to be here tonight. Not anymore. That was so shocking. I have one of his monographs, too. Hold on to it. His work is going to be worth serious cash. Err. Unfortunately, they're probably right. How do right. these galleries afford to rent here? This makes me feel so sad. Bad like exposure. I was back in high school. This makes me feel so sad. Bad picture. Okay, so this is not what I thought. What I was thinking was, when this first started breaking down, was that... Uh, Excuse me, I'd love to ask you a few questions about your work. Sorry, but... Like, I was thinking she got the nosebleed because the, this reality didn't actually happen. Like, somehow her powers are keeping the alternate possibility open. And then the effect only ends when she goes oh, back. Shit. Oh, my head. Like, she kept the alternate reality where 
uh, Chloe's dad was open for a very now? short amount of time, and then she reversed There's it so she didn't notice. Is... But doing do a more hard. permanent change isn't possible. What am I doing to time? But I'm not so sure that's what's going on. I just have to make one simple change so I won't end up in San Francisco. Simple. Oh, Lord. Sorry, San Francisco. Chloe comes first. This happened before you made the changes to Jefferson. Oh, okay. I'm so, what? Jefferson sent my photo on. Did he figure out to have time travel powers? What the fuck? Oh, fuck. God, yeah, you forgot no. to send the text. I'm back here again? I thought I fixed everything. No, your planning skills are horrible. What? Jefferson should be in jail. Not here. Jesus. It's like you're back in my class. You're still spacing out. It might be cool if you took one of your patented selfies now. The transformation between the old Max and the new Max. Anyway, answer my question, please. The answer is a kick in the nuts! <laughs> Eat shit and die. Good answer. Good answer. Oh, right. He wants me to be mean. Oh, well, hey, I don't have options. Your nose is bleeding. Probably gave you too big a dose. Sorry about that, Max. But considering you're about to die, a nosebleed is a first world problem. I'm not sure you get the concept. I had to let Victoria Chase go. You let her? Don't be no. stupid, okay? <laughs> She's exactly where she deserves to be. No. Oh, as if you care. Well, fuck, what was the point in warning her? Your iris, that dilation like a shudder. The pictures you're taking of me now. Too bad you pissed away your gift. You could have won the contest, but you destroyed your own beautiful photograph. What a waste. Honestly, I think the torn one was more valuable. Stuff. I got a little carried away. Fuck. He burned my diary. That's why I'm still here. I don't think Especially so. Especially since you've developed from nerd to hero within a week. There's something... Like, I feel like we skipped a causality step there. Going on with you. Whoa. Did you see how crazy it is outside? No. I've been in here. Like I said, something weird. There's that fear. Oh, Max, it's an honor working with you on these final sessions. I hope these images will be appreciated for what they truly capture. The loss of youth. Seriously, they focused on my At foot least, being free. What's the point? That's the last lecture you'll ever have to hear from me. And I promise you, no more nosebleeds. Mr. Jefferson, please, don't do this. You don't know what's happening. Shh, 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 shh. Quiet. Quiet, Max. <gasps> Wait, Warren took a picture. I didn't want evidence of me Please. being at the party, but he took a picture. Don't do that. That's just enough time to go back and stop everything. Okay, I'm not in control yet. Stop him in the nuts. Okay, okay, okay. I promise. This final dose won't hurt. Okay, I can't let him do anything to me. Because as soon as he gives me the dose, I won't be able to use my powers. <laughs> okay.
Okay, so the decision I have... I don't actually have a decision. I wasn't in control back then. I promise. Kick him in the nuts, 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 kick him in the nuts. Okay. I promise. I promise. This final dose won't hurt. Do something with your goddamn foot, Max! I promise. This final dose won't hurt. What? What? Yell! David. No, David! No! Okay, is when? when Jesus! Do, all right, when do I get to go back and warn him? Okay, so here. What? David, watch out! Time to shut the fuck up, okay? Oh! <laughs> Okay. Bad timing, Max. Too early. Okay. Okay, now, no, 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 no. David, watch out! How? How did you know that? David, what is the point of warning you? <sighs> okay. David, watch out! How? How did you know that? Okay, okay, okay. So maybe I have to let this play out. Maybe I can get the gun somehow. Jesus. David Madsen. He's out cold. Good. I always hated that fascist fuck. Everybody at Blackwell did, right, Max? Okay. Man, you are dedicated to this. Okay. There was something after this? David, watch out! How? Hmm. Okay, this is confusing. Like, like she has multiple options to warn him. Like... David, Jefferson's around the corner. Like, this is, this is super easy. I promise, this final dose won't hurt. What? Okay, so no warn. Okay. David, watch out! How? How did you know that? Why does he still just walk around the corner like nothing's going on? Like, what am I Jesus. supposed to do here? David Madsen. He's out cold. Good. I always hated that. F okay, what if I. David, watch out! Time to shut the fuck up, okay? Okay. Now he's got it David, in his hands, he's, warm, he's moving. How? How did you know that? What the fuck am I supposed to do? Like, obviously David's not going to save me. So I need to look for something else that's going on. Like, Jesus. you think I'd be able to take the David syringe Madsen. or something. He's out cold. Good. I always hated that fascist fuck. Everybody in Blackwell did, right, Max? Okay, no, the syringe is over there. Okay. I legitimately have no understanding of what they want. Like, if I go back, can I take the tripod or something? And I promise you. No more nosebleeds. Wait, hold on. Can I... Can I please ask you for one okay. last... Okay. Request. There were other ways oh. to do this. 
You got me, Max. How can I deny that face? Can you move that tripod over here? Play some music to distract him from Could the sound. You please, at least play some music so I can drift away. Even at the end, you're still a dreamer, Max. It's a nice treat. Now I'm a little bit crazy. I always like Oh, just a little. What? Why did he take so long? Like, he, he got me instantly in a junkyard. No way, Jefferson. Hold it! What? He got me instantly in a junkyard, but he paused to let that happen. I don't know. So maybe I need to do something more time consuming? Okay, maybe I just need to go back and choose a different option. Because he hides behind me. Maybe I need to find something that I promise you. keeps him elsewhere. Last picture. Turn off the lights doesn't help. That'll actually make it harder for David to work. Some water? Uh, excuse me, but my, my throat is scratchy. Can Wait, I please why would you even give somebody water? some water? Of course. I don't want you to be uncomfortable. Okay. So, how does water help me? How does water help any of this? It's not going to stop him from making the noise. And then I kick him in the nuts so David can come in. I promise. This final dose won't hurt. What? David, watch out! Time to shut the fuck up, okay? Okay, that's not it. Man, I am really struggling with this. What? David, watch out! How? How did you know that? Well, my newly lubricated throat does not help David at all. One last picture, I guess. Would you uh, take? Oh, to set up the tripod so he can't beat David with it, maybe? I, I want to be your best subject. I almost don't believe that, but I think you've finally learned from me. Oh, different tripod entirely. Great. <laughs> Kick him in the face. Kick him in the face. Kick him in the face. Journal? What journal for this? Can I focus on this picture in my journal? Okay. So the camera's over there now. For whatever reason, that might help me. Seriously, turning off the lights is the worst idea. This final dose. There's no reason that should be the solution. But, again, I want to emphasize that all of this can be solved by, David, don't come around the corner. And will you mind turning off the lights? They make me squint, so I won't look good for the shot. Now, you're thinking like a real photographer. And I don't want your last memory to be bad lighting. Am I missing a step somewhere? I promise, this final dose won't hurt. What? Wait a minute. My leg is free. So what if I'm supposed to trip him before he comes around me, but I thought that part and was I in a cutscene, so... Could he... Okay. Okay, I'm gonna try and trip him. Hold it! What? 
What the fuck? Okay. What am I supposed to- Hold it! There's a decision here. I'm- I'm very close to just looking this up. What the Hold hell? It. What? Okay, fuck it. I'm looking it up, because I don't understand. No way, Jefferson. Okay, so it's some water. Uh, and then the- I promise. This final dose won't hurt. What? Okay, warn. David, watch out! Time to shut the fuck up, okay? Okay, that's not it. What? He gets over there and warn him. David, watch out! How? How did you know that? Okay, and then push the table. No hey, gun. What the no hell? Balls. Jefferson, it's over. Wasn't he knocked out by this point? going to stop me. <laughs> wow. David David, Madsen. way to let him run all the way across the fucking room like a little girl. You are not going to Grab stop that bottle. me. <laughs> He shot Sorry, him. At, he Madsen. shot at his feet. Sorry, Madsen. You should have stuck to harassing. <laughs> Whatever. This is all. Going to stop me. Okay, hang on. No, stop. It's over. There was something else. You are not going to stop me. Grab your gun now. Got it. Okay. Maybe there, is there a hide option? Don't stop me. You are not going David, to stop me. Kick that table. Yes, sir. <laughs> Did Chloe tell him about the time rewind powers? Is that why he's listening to me? You are not going to stop me. Bottle. No. Hang on, David. I gotta look around for some stuff. You are not going to stop me. Cable. You are not going to stop me. Okay, distraction. Oh lord, Max. Oh lord. Are you okay? Are you all right? Can you move? Is this what Oregonian yes. sounds like? This sounds Thank you, David. This sounds like somebody from the south Thank to me. You. No thing me. You brought me here. How? I'm so confused about Let's what the timeline is now. Son of a bitch first. Wrap him up as an end him? Oh, right, you're not an actual cop, so you can't murder him. Except you are going to prison forever. Or worse. Mr. Jefferson, now it's your turn to be captured in a moment. Puns. Save Chloe. He burned everything, including all of my photos. Hey Warren, can you text me that picture you took at the party? Warren, yes, I, I can. Use I was that fucking he took kidding. Of us. <laughs> I wasn't kidding, but. Shit! No signal. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson, but you won't need this anymore. David, I have to leave now. No, I can't give a witness statement. I'm very Good sorry. God. Hold on, Max. So, where is Chloe? She's at the beach, stuck at something. David... Uh, Chloe is... is... dead. This isn't happening. No, it, well, it's happening now, but in a few seconds it won't be. No, God. Not Chloe. Hey, he cares. Max, are you are you sure? Are you Yes, I I saw her. I I saw a Jefferson Keller in the junkyard last night. Last night? When I was feeling sorry for myself in my hotel room. Weird detail. Thanks I thanks for making it all about you. Protect her, and Chloe. <laughs> How can I face her and explain this? 
I never even told Chloe that I... I... God damn it! What could you possibly you tell Chloe? You killed my wife's child, you sick fucker! And you took away my stepdaughter! David, wait! It's for the best. Besides, I'm about to go change the past anyway. Who gives a fuck? Max. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had to see that. What a mess. What have I done? The right thing. All that time I wasted with surveillance. Uh, Chloe. I'm sorry. Joyce. I failed you. My family. All of this is you unnecessary. Did. <laughs> you did your best. Max. You better get outside. You've seen enough of this room. David, thank you for saving me. See, more than more than all of the shit that just happened, I would love an explanation on how I brought him here. Like, I need to figure out exactly what is going on in this timeline. Also, congratulations on your new car, Max. Freedom. Holy shit. This storm is real. I need to find more. Yes. <laughs> what was the name of the network? Verizacom? Warren, can you hear me? I need you to text me that picture. Never mind. Listen, do you have that photo you took last night in the parking lot? Yeah, but why? It wasn't that great a shot. Yes, it is, and I, I want it. Where are you? I'm at the Two Wells Diner. Pretty much trapped in here with Joyce thanks to this Armageddon weather. I'm expecting <laughs> the ocean to turn red. I'm on my way. <laughs> Max on, blasted the front in the car. I can walk on the sidewalk outside. Seriously, Max, stay wherever you are. That's okay. Me too. But it's not over yet, Warren. So hold on. I'm, st I'm still a little bit mad about the solution to the Warren David puzzle. Like, so many of these things in this game could have been solved by using your words properly. You can barely walk on the sidewalk. This is an average rainstorm. Culture of sin and entitlement would lead to God striking us down, and I'm the one trapped in this fucking radio station. Somebody get me the hell out of here now! Now, God damn it, I want to pay all those taxes. Okay, I was like, what the hell is this radio broadcast for? And it's like, oh, okay, uh, yeah, I'm glad they put that one in. You have one new message. Do tell. Message received yesterday at nine. Max, Mom? it's Nathan. I, I just wanted to say I'm sorry. Not enough. I didn't want to hurt Kate or Rachel or, or I didn't want to hurt anybody. That's very much too bad. Everybody used me. Mm. <laughs> Mr. Jefferson, it's coming for me now. All this shit will be over soon. Watch out, Max. He wants to hurt you next. Wow. It's nice that he tried at the end. Does not excuse any of the shit he did previously.
I could let you through this gap, or I could just slowly inch forward and make you think that I'm going to run over you. Somebody I should I'm supposed to help or Are you shitting me? This is the end. It's all over now. Uh do I crawl through this truck maybe? Drawing. Think about all those children out there. Cool. <laughs> You're not. Okay. How do I get through? Oh, I can't stand seeing these bodies. What do you want me to do? Yes, entrance. That's how I would describe this. Not a literal trash fire hole. How can I get out of here? Uh, with a flyer, apparently. Uh, fuse box. Yeah, that's fine. It's dead. Electrocuted. I mean, he was trapped in a burning building before. Alright, here we go. Well, at least now he's not going to be burned to death. Or no, oh wait, no. Shocked to death. He will be burned to death. Which is honestly a slower way to die. More painful, too. Would die. All right, on the way. Here we go. Almost there. Taking it slow. Ow! What? Oh, the fire! Okay, the fire spread to the diner, which exploded violently for some reason. That's fine. Damn, this is blocked off. Now I have to find another way into the diner. Yes, we're open. No? Okay. That homeless lady, I know where she is now. Evacuation. Once again, this is not a test. This is not a test. An E6 tornado warning has been issued for Arcadia Bay and surrounding counties. Max! Yeah, 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 shut up, give me the thing. Is now in effect. Oh, Max. Where's Chloe? Oh, Jesus, I am so glad to see you, sweetie. Are you okay? Yes. What about you guys? The two whales is barely standing now. I don't know if it's gonna make it through this tornado. Oh, poor Officer Barry and all those people out I know. there. Okay, get your ass. I just realized she sounds kind of southern to too. This gentleman on the ground. Lauren has been gathering all the first aid. It's not much, Joyce, but it's all we have. 
Hey, Warren, okay, photo, now. Right. How the hell did I ignore all those warnings, Max? The snow? The eclipse? There's nothing you could do about it, Warren. I'm so <laughs> really? stupid. I mean, he's, I mean she's absolutely right. I should have seen the apocalypse coming and then convinced everybody else the apocalypse was coming. Oh, that's been the saying. that's been the problem with planning the apocalypse for a very long time. Convincing other people that it was gonna be the apocalypse. I hate to say I'm glad to see you. But I'm so glad to see you. That's okay. The important thing is that you're safe. And I know you can take care of yourself after Nathan. You should have done that a long time ago. But damn, Max. I can't believe you actually drove down here in the middle of a fucking E6 tornado. Just for one photograph? I mean, I know you didn't come for me. Yeah, Ryan, you're right. I came for all of you. Just tell me you do have the photograph. I just want... Now shut up and listen. Okay. I have time travel powers. Finally go in and tell me what you never did in the parking lot. Wow, perceptive. I wish I would have. So I'm just going to tell you without any explanation. Trust me, okay? I always do. You should probably tell me quick. Finally, somebody with some sense. I had a vision in Jefferson's class of a tornado destroying Arcadia Bay. I went to the bathroom and saw my best friend Chloe get shot by Nathan Prescott. You with me so far? Where else could I be? Go on. Then I found out that I could rewind time. And long story short, Mark Jefferson is insane and dangerous. He's dead, actually. Whoa. Is that all? I have to go back in time. Jefferson already k killed Chloe. I can't let that happen. I have oh, to Oh, they're not even trying to lip sync at this point. Max, going back in time is what caused the storm. All because, because of me? How? That butterfly went to Africa I'm and not a real scientist. blew on even a giraffe fart school, or whatever. This seems like pure cause and effect. Maybe chaos theory. Those are two different uh, things. What happened with Jefferson? Did, did he hurt you? Yeah. He used Nathan to get drugs and money for him. Jefferson tied me up and dosed me with some drug and took sick photos yeah, of me. Yeah, not even trying to flap the lips at this point. It was so horrible. Max, I'm so sorry you had to go through all that. You're the bravest person I've ever known. Give me the photo. No, I want to kill that son of a bitch. You're too late, actually. Where Coincidence. Is he? Dead. History. Which I need to change fast to make it right again. Is that bad? Yeah. For every action, there's there's a reaction. Whenever you reversed or or alter time, maybe you cause a chain reaction. Even in the environment. Are we going to find out that Warren is some kind of weird, like, extra-dimensional time police? Like, he's my ghost of Christmas past? Uh... Pff. Sure, let's All ask this for more. destruction is my fault. Give me a break. You sure the hell didn't give yourself time travel powers? I guess we'll never know if it's magic or science. That's not... Even if it's from a wizard or a wormhole. You're part of something bigger. Okay. I don't believe in fate or destiny, but after this week, I realize I don't know shit. That makes both of us, Warren. I do know you're here for a reason. And I guess it's up to you to find out why. Sorry, the closest Max, I I'm sorry you got stuck in this. In this I don't have a fucking clue what's going on. But I have total faith that you'll do the right thing when the time comes. I'm so proud of you, Max. How could there be a more important moment in history? And I'm in the middle of it with you? So thank you for trusting me. Th that's... Thanks for being here. That's a terrible Always. explanation. Like, so you're Thanks saying... You. Hang on, we gotta stop. He said my going back in time caused the tornado somehow. But then he says that I'm part of it and I didn't give myself time travel powers. So his explanation for my causing this is that something external caused all of this. And it doesn't seem... 
it's actually my fault. Not that it matters. Hey. Be careful out there. Thanks, man. Watch out for Joyce. I told you, I'm not kissing him. I got this, Max. Go on. I'm going to make the right choices from now on. I swear. That's why you're super Max. Like, if I had to choose one person throughout the game, yeah, I think I probably would go with Kate. Have you been drinking? We got no time for this shit. Come on, Max. Yeah, no, wait, Chloe. we do. Jesus, dude, what is up with you? I'm just glad we're here together. Just tell the truth, goddammit! No worries. It's all good. I'm glad you're with me too what's going on use max? all the we fucking have to find words right now god damn it max to Rachel. let's go now Chloe, no wait listen i can walk and listen okay stop and listen for once fine max i'm listening chloe you can't go in that party you're going to you're gonna die if you do you used your powers right and you fucked around with time and i died not like that you're supposed to back me up, so there's no way that punk-ass bitch Nathan Prescott is taking me down. You're right, he won't. Mark Jefferson killed you, and others. Jefferson, the art teacher? That's bullshit! Nathan is the fucking serial killer! Time travel powers, group. Chloe! Now excuse me, I'm going to that party to make sure he never hurts anybody again. Are you Fuck coming? you, you're exhausting! Nathan is dead, and you're in danger. That fucker is already dead? How do you know that? Because I was there. Please tell me exactly what happened. Please. Jefferson kidnapped Rachel and some other girls. He was also manipulating Nathan, and he killed him. Then it's Jefferson's turn to die now. I understand why you don't want to do this, and I won't blame you for not coming with me. Chloe! Man, she just won't listen. I better rewind and do over. Oh, is this you an, almost uh, had her, Max. I this is another this. redo the entire goddamn Excuse conversation me, thing. Nathan's dead. Nathan, that fucker. Because. Ah, uh, ba 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 ba. Jefferson hurt me is just gonna make her more mad. Jefferson's a psychopath. Mark Jefferson. Probably chose the wrong branch be from the beginning. Psychopath. Okay, Max. Let's go in there as a team and take his ass out right now. Chloe, I should never have run away from you like I did when we left Arcadia Bay. I know I hurt you. All I ever wanted was to make it up to you. Please don't run away from me. I don't think that was the correct choice, but they're not going to let me go. This is what I need you the most. This is how to make everything up to me. With your power and my gun, nothing no, in the No, they're selfish can stop us ass. Now. No, not this way. Chloe, I I can't keep fixing everything if all Finally. I can do is just break it over and over again. I know how this is gonna turn out. And Thank you! I'm afraid I'm fucking up all these alternate realities. Wait, alternate realities? What do you mean, Max? What did you do? I saved your dad, you were paralyzed. I fucked up, Chloe. I wanted to make things right, but everything turned out wrong. Max, what the hell are you talking about? I was able to go back in time to the last day William was alive. I stopped him from leaving, but... If only we had said all of this you so long ago. you car crash instead. You saw my dad again? You... You are completely paralyzed. Yeah, this is just gonna piss her and off, but... You She's not rational okay. in the first place. You were slowly dying, and you, you asked me to end your life. But Chloe, there was no way I could do that. I had to return to this timeline to see you again. I had to. God, Max. 
That must have been... That must have been awful for you. I'm, really? I'm so sorry I had to ask you that. That is entirely out of character for her. But I had no idea what would happen, and as usual, I messed everything up, and... I never want to hurt you. Ever. You have to They've both been very narrow-minded and selfish this entire time. Do you think I would even know how to handle that situation? Nobody would. The important thing is that we're together again. You're right. That's... That's why you should come with me, so we can stay together. And stay alive. I hear you, Max, but... Do you think we should let Jefferson get away with torture and murder? Of course not. If we tell David, he'll believe us, and he can actually stop him. Right? Step douche. I don't get it. Why do you trust him after you totally reamed him the other day? He's not even at our house anymore. Ooh, David was ahead of us, I think. Oh, God. David... David cares about you. I think I need to drive home that point to you right now. Chloe, no matter how much of a douche he's been, David truly cares about you. Oh, please. Like he cared when he busted into my room. You should have seen his reaction when I told him that Jefferson killed you. He was crushed. Are you serious? I... I can't see him showing any feeling. Except towards my mom. So what's your plan? We tell oh, okay. him everything. Including that Victoria is in danger. Okay. You've been through so much. I, I believe you, Max. This is really weird. After all, I'm still your faithful companion. Yes, you are. So listen, in a few minutes, I won't know any of this happened. Nothing. We absolutely have to stay in your room and do nothing. Then we explain everything to David, and we finally let him do his job. You'll have to tell me exactly what I did and said just now. Just explain that I traveled through time using the photo. Will you believe me? I'll always believe you, Chloe. Okay. How the fuck did David get a bulletproof vest? Yay, we faced the storm together! Oh! Chloe! I see that the real Max is back. So, how was your time trip, dude? Shut up! Oh, it's so cool! Much. Everybody understands now! Oh, both of us! I did so much to bring you back, Chloe. Finally, the power of proper are. communication prevails. You're with me again. Looks like even fate doesn't want us apart. And I traveled through multiple realities just to save my ungrateful ass over and over and Yep. I hope it was worth it, but I don't blame you for wanting me out of your life after all my drama. What? Come on. I'm the official drama king and queen of Arcadia Bay this week. Look at what my powers have caused in just a short time. I'm nobody. You're an everyday you're hero. Max fucking Caulfield, time warrior. Even if you weren't, you're kind and caring. Nobody could have a better best friend. Nobody. You didn't ask for any of this to happen, but it did. You need to accept how awesome you are. Maybe I willed it subconsciously or something. I always wanted my life to be special. An adventure, but not without you. I feel like you're saying that now. Back here, so without you, my powers wouldn't even exist. Terrible conclusion. Scientific, mystical reason that we'll obviously never figure out. We were meant to be together at this exact moment. Way to write yourselves out of a corner, guys. I think Rachel was somewhere behind the scenes, fighting for justice. I'd like to think that too. We all owe Rachel Amber. Sure. Now tell me everything that happened. You you remember, right? Well, we we left the party and made sure Jefferson couldn't find us. For once, I was glad I lived in an actual fortress. Then the storm got hella crazy, and, and you said we would be safe at the lighthouse. <laughs> we hit my house where nobody would find us. 
storm is getting bigger now. It's coming closer. Uh, yeah, why are we on the beach? This is real. This is happening because of me. Stop it. This is stop beating yourself up, okay? We've both paid our dues already on it. God, look at that. Look at that monster. Who knows? This could be Rachel's revenge. Our revenge. The lighthouse is out of the way of the tornado. Come on. No, hey, Chloe. Chloe. Ugh. Oh, God, we go back. Is she gonna drag my ass all the way up to the damn light? Oh my god. Alfred Hitchcock famously called film Little Pieces of Time. I'm what back in class. As he what the hell? Us. These pieces of time can frame us in our glory and I our have sorrow. to listen to this Jefferson lecture again. This color, might be hell. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer okay, who perfectly this captured is messed the condition in black and white? Am I stuck in a time loop? I don't fucking know anymore. Bueller. Diane Arbus. Be calm and there you go, don't Gloria. freak out. Why Arbus? Yet. Because of her images of hopeless faces. The you feel like fuck? totally haunted by the eyes of those sad Oh, oh, whoa. She saw humanity as torture. Are those What's birds? And frankly, it's bullshit. Nobody even cares. <laughs> Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though. <laughs> The whole time, I'm just fucking crazy. <laughs> Literally none of this happened. I'm just losing my mind. Everybody's gone now. Have I totally fucked up time? Oh, I never this noticed Max's shoes. Those are cool. Oh, we can't even look at them. They're like hand-painted. Oh, I already know what that says. Rachel Amber forever. I see you, Max Caulfield. Holy Don't shit, I didn't even see you. Don't think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. Just let him have it, see what happens. I just wanted to know if you'd like to spend the rest of your life in my dark room. Oh. Your purity inspires me so much, and we could be so happy together. Max is just crazy. Who needs selfies when I can give you Everybody wipes treasure. their face. It's so weird. There's no way I'm saying that. No way. What the fuck is happening? I like to think of it as our dark room. It's the only place I truly feel safe and protected from the storm. Of course, Ah, Max. the face wipe. I can capture you over and over. You can be my model for life. And death. We are going to be so happy together in the dark. Just make sure you stay pure. I won't like it if you get dirty like Rachel or Chloe. Cool. I'll leave this now. This can't be real. I don't believe it. What, am I going to go to the bathroom, take the gun, and shoot Chloe myself? Oh. Oh, what the fuck? This is creepy. Oh, she's lighting candles for herself. That's cool. Oh, that's really cool. Hey, Kate. Why didn't you save Max, me? Why did you stop me from jumping? Oh. What kind of friend are you? What? You never understood me or what happened to me. Now my family will never leave me alone. And that means I'll always be alone. Thanks to you. Kate, that's not true. <laughs> this is so fucking weird. Friend. I feel like at least it kind of made some logical sense before, but now I think the answer is just, I'm crazy. Sorry, I was wondering why the bottom of the screen was bright. When did PT come out? Is the whiteness at the bottom of the screen getting higher every time, or...? To my... Oh, to the RV. 218. So that's 219. 
222. What is the numbering scheme in this place? It's usually like evens on one side, odds on the other. Two eighteen, two twenty three. Okay, two eighteen. Hey, that girl's door. Oh, oh! I advanced to another day. Another key. Oh, I need to find my way out. Okay. Great she was my angel. After my dad died, I knew oh. Rachel saved my life. All right. So Rachel took my place. I'm glad she was there for you. Six months ago, she just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. Oh, okay. It was it's through the speakers. Maybe she wanted to start a totally new life. Unlike you, she would have told me, okay? Something happened to her. Before Rachel left, she said she met somebody who changed her life. And poof. Oh, somebody who changed your life. Mm, Jefferson, I guess. Whoa! Okay, pick the right one. Oh, maybe I just needed that... Maybe I just needed that... clip to expire. This should be... I think this is Victoria's door. Okay. So then... This is This is all just off the rails. Is the music going to play forward? Nope. I love that this is just... I love that she's just like, okay, I'm cool with this now. <laughs> Asila! <laughs> Oh, hey, the deer's here. No, yeah, I get it. Thank you. Yeah, I remember how the sequence goes. Thank you. What? Don't try to hide, Max. Get over here. Let me capture you. <laughs> oh. Jefferson is coming after me again. Max, no. You used to be so pure, so innocent. Now I gotta get the lighthouse. You I guess. have to die. Please understand, Max. The only place I can be my selfie is in the dark room. Oh my God! I hate. I hate everybody and everything. I can't believe you let that hillbilly murder me in Comax. Yeah. I'm just gonna sneak past you right here because the flashlight is okay, never mind. Guess not. Just hey. gonna yep. Just going to abuse the shit out of my powers, excuse me. And Please then... understand, Max. The only place I can be my selfie is in the dark room. Uh-huh. Hey, can you move? Believe you let that hillbilly... Hey, Max. Hi! I can't believe you let that hillbilly murder me. Let that hillbilly murder me in cold blood. Oh, this is a cool sequence. What happened to Good evening, place. Blackwell. This is Prince Well. And I'm here to drop the mic on Max Caulfield. Oh my god. Are we really doing this? 
Oh no, drop the mic, dude. I regret to announce that one of your fellow classmates. Way to drop the mic, dude. <laughs> she dead as fuck, yo! Max, where are Ooh, Warren, why are you here? You need an alpha male, baby. Gross. Samuel wants to make sure. Max, Max, if only Kate Marsh would have jumped off that roof. Samuel wants to make sure what? Miss Caulfield and finally get her spirit out of Blackwell. <laughs> Why are they making Samuel creepy? Like he was already creepy, but they don't need to make him creepy like that. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna cut Bony you open ass. for it. Bony I'm ass. Cut you open for Max. It's over here. I'm okay. Max. Hey, Max. Will be my greatest portrait, Max. Yeah, I'm just gonna. Max. 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 I want to share. Max. Max. Hey, Max. What the fuck ever you gonna do now that I'm Max? I don't know. Literally anything because you matter so little. Okay, cool, safe. And let's just take a little resty poo. Oh my god. Yep, just let me sit down and continue my psychotic break. Oh god, what if I'm actually still with Chloe? Like, what if this is while I'm passed out and Chloe's dragging me to the windmill? Made in Taiwan. Oh, interesting. Don't you dare question the chef. Right, like you're the real cook here? I am. When your mom is away, I'll let her know that. Let me out! Hello? Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the two wins. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She don't have many bags of delicious grub for us you to waste You are ridiculous. Upon. You'll be grateful for that someday. So we're just going to sit here and wait for him to find his keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Whoa. Whoa, hi. Holy shit. Shit. Where I was wondering if I was going to get to see myself. For the swear jar. You're bankrupting me. Hi, young Chloe, but also me. You can't hide from me forever. Now lock up after I leave. Play nice. Try not to destroy too much of the house. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad. Quit. Hey, Max, <laughs> would you say hi to Chloe and Joyce? Don't forget to remind them that you let me die. Thank, thank you. Oh, my God. I have so many texts. Okay. Oh, and it's wheelchair Chloe. Samuel. Good evening, young Max. The squirrels talk to me, but how can you? Samuel has no phone. <laughs> oh, God, I'm so glad I opened that. Hi, Max. Rachel Lambert here. Just wanted to introduce myself. Be seeing you soon. Real soon. Pompadou. Bitch, do not mess with Frank or me. You got a snack? <laughs> oh my god. Max, I loved your photo shoot with Jefferson. He absolutely captured you. If you want, we can hang out and get high. And wheelchair Chloe. Hey Max, this is your old pal Chloe. You left in a wheelchair in another reality. Did I thank you before you bailed to a new life? Not only did you blow off my request, you already jumped into another photo. How many fucking times can you abandon me, hippie? 
Oh, that was fun. I'm glad we took that. I'm glad we took the time to do that. That was good. How long will this nightmare go on? Oh, this is worse now. It was. It wasn't as bad when I was wearing like real clothes. I think you'd be perfect for my new photo series on retro grunge. You have the same qualities that I loved in Rachel Amber, but not Max. Max is a fucking child. Oh Christ, I know. And she never shuts up, does she? I'm so over her hipster bullshit. I think everyone at Blackwell is over Max. <laughs> Let's prove it. Just waiting for the next thing to happen. Yeah, Warren. I thought you were all over Max's shit. She's sure the hell not into me at all. Who cares? I guess we're not her type. <laughs> like Max has a fucking type. But she does. She's into Mr. Jefferson. Now come here. God damn, you are a sexy bitch. Why hang out with Max, huh? Boredom. Plus, she's like my personal puppet. I hear that. Do you want a party? I got a drugstore in my room. Oh shit. Look at Max spying on us. Take a fucking picture, bitch. Or take a selfie. See, this is how you bust a move, Max. No mosh pit for you, <laughs> shock a bra. Oh, Damn, God. Victoria. You're a real woman. Not a little girl like Max. What is this? I fucking <laughs> love your tats, Chloe. You're so hot. I can't believe it took us so long. What is the that. point of this? <laughs> Why did you get rewind powers? You don't even know how to use them. Rachel's dead, and you're Hi, still better alive. Chloe. Life is so not fair. I Bye, wish better you would Chloe. Never come back to Arcadia Bay. You're the real storm. Mm -hmm. Cool. <laughs> Am I in charge again? Awesome. I'll be so grateful if this is the last digicode. It's in your brain. Just don't even worry about it. The fuck? Oh, right. cool. Numbers are all over the place. Is it not 8391? Right oh, I'm probably not supposed to get it. But I'm going to try. Let's see. I, I think I'm probably supposed to get it wrong. Hang on. Okay, so I've... Now why doesn't the mirror reflect any of the numbers? Oh, that's a good question. Why doesn't the mirror reflect any of the numbers? 0311. It's weird that your brain put a code in your brain? I don't know. Don't this, kill us, Max. This whole sequence is killed. I'll never dance again, Max. Guilty feet have Honey, got no reason. That's okay if I'm gone. Guess my husband I've and new baby. The squirrels die. We'll have to go without me. yours. I guess my husband and new baby. Who are you? Me. I don't know anything about your Max, baby. I know. I you can live so so it's okay if I'm gone. But you have paid my dues every day here. So I'll this is how Max spirit. gets her revenge on. Honey, yeah, it's okay. The, this, all of this is just, all of this is kind of ruined this experience. Who are you? Holy shit, are you cereal? I'm you, dumbass. Or I'm one of many Maxes you've left behind. Can you get me out of here? Oh, so you want help? <laughs> Thought you could control everybody and everything, huh? Twist time around your fingers? I tried to help. I only wanted to do the right thing. No, you only wanted to be popular. No. And once you got these amazing powers, your big plan was to trick people into thinking you'd give a rat's ass. But I do. I saved Alyssa from head trauma like I four times. Care. That's why I was trying to make friends. By telling people what they want to hear? <laughs> you were just looking for a okay. shortcut because you can't make friends on your own. 
That's not First true. of all, asshole. I have great friends. I didn't tell anybody and what I've they wanted to hear. For good. I used the Please limited options I was given. Innocent. <laughs> You're a goddamn hypocrite. Because an actual human being would You've have known how to speak better. death and suffering behind you. That was not my fault, you son of a bitch. Thank you. Don't you dare talk about our mom that way. <laughs> what about the crap that was your fault? Wait, wait, let me guess. You fucked up time and space for your precious punk Chloe? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you think she's worth all that? Mm-hmm. We all are. Wow, that's going to seem really shitty if I did cause the tornado. I don't see this uh, prime example. None of these are actual answers that this I want. It has to be my destiny to save her. No, it doesn't. I wouldn't be trapped in here if I didn't believe that. No kidding. Chloe trapped you with her drama. Guns, drugs, Rachel. <sighs> She's just using you, dude. Like, she even asked you to end her life and do what she couldn't do by herself. Chloe does a better job of guilt tripping me than you do. Because you let her bully you. It's called Stockholm Syndrome. No, it's not. But you didn't do that homework. So you'll have to learn the hard way. Like Rachel. Just shut up. You're not scaring me anymore. I'd be more worried about Chloe killing us than Jefferson. Likely. Max, do you really think she's our friend? That she respects us in any way. Man, you are so stupid. <laughs> I'm embarrassed to have the same name. And someday Chloe will destroy... Oh, hell, speak of the devil. Dude, do not even fuck with her head. She knows what we went through together this week, and you don't. There's no way you can break up our team. This is reality. Really, is it? <laughs> After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. What, are you going I'm back to show me that she's selfish? I've already you. figured that out. <laughs> Welcome home, Max. Fasten your seatbelt. I uh, know it was your birthday last month. This was my real father's camera. I want you to have it. This song fucking rules. Can't dance, hippie? Come on. Rock out, girl. Yo, you were here today, Max. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. Seeing you after all these years feels like... Destiny. Mm. This... Let's talk about your superpower. Epic. I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. To play. You need a sidekick to guide you. Welcome to American Rust, my home away from hell. Ra and Ra... You saved me again. Crazy. Now we're totally bonded for life. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in... Max, you better come check out these files. Mm-hmm. It's... Cowabunga! Why look and off? Let's call it a draw. I'm gonna freeze my ass off when I get out. You look cute with your hair soaked in chemicals. Photo bomb. Photo hog. I double dare you. Kiss me now. Mm hmm. Sorry, not that easy. Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy. Can you see us heading down the coast of Big Sur and beyond? Not until I see it first. You know the rules, Dad. It's weird to see that in that order. Weird out with you again I know I'm glad we are though oh awesome picture we look so badass in our fight Chloe you're back mm -hmm. I'm just Kate wasn't the first all those binary Rachel oh Rachel no no please not her Chloe <laughs> come on Max we're almost there oh this is it we're out Please, she up, she carried up. me exactly to where I should not be. Max, Great. Come on now. Don't worry. Don't worry. We'll be okay. Max. Max, can you hear me? Please say something. Chloe. I 
I must have passed out. Oh, Sorry. thank God. Don't you ever do that again, okay? I swear. But that nightmare was so real. Was it? It was so horrible. Oh, at least the top already fell off. So we're here later than we're supposed to be. Fun. This is my storm. I caused this. I caused all of this. Still, weird conclusion to draw. I changed fate and destiny so much that I actually did alter the course of everything. All I really created was just death and destruction. Uh-huh. Fuck all that, okay? You were given a power. You didn't ask for it. And you saved me. Which had to happen. All of this did. Except for what happened to Rachel. But without your power, we wouldn't have found her. Okay, so you're not the goddamn Time Master, but you're Maxine Caulfield. And you're amazing. Okay. I feel like Max. this. This is the only way. I feel like I took the shot a thousand years ago. You. You could use that photo to change everything right back to when you took that picture. All that would take is for me to. To fuck that. No. No way. You are my number one priority. She does not speak for me. all that matters to me. I know. You prove that over and over again. Even though I don't deserve it. I'm so selfish. Not like my mom. Look what she had to give up and live through. And she did. She deserves so much more than to be killed by a storm in a fucking diner. Even my my stepfather deserves her alive. There's so many more people in Arcadia Bay who should live. Way more than me. Don't say that. I won't trade you. You're not trading me. Again, not speaking for me. Maybe you've just been delaying my real destiny. Look at how many times I've almost died or actually died around you. Yep. Look at what's happened in Arcadia Bay ever since you first saved me. I know I'm not really selfish, but for once I think I should accept my fate. Our fate. Oh we Max, you finally came back to me this week, and you did nothing but show me your love and friendship. You made me smile and laugh like I haven't done in years. Wherever I end up after this, in whatever reality, all those moments between us were real. And they'll always be ours. Well, mine, specifically, no because I'll be choose, going back in time. I know you'll make the right decision. Chloe, I can't make this choice. No, Max. You're the only one who can. Okay. This... This bugs the shit out of me. Because I can't tell if the implication is that the day I woke up in Jefferson's class with the vision of the tornado was supposed to be, like, me coming back from the future and not remembering it somehow. Or if they're trying to say that the storm is inevitable. But I, I, don't, I don't think they made enough of a link here between what I did and the tornado. Because it's not just the tornado, it's the snowstorm, it's the eclipse, it's the double moons. If that all supposedly has something to do with me, it's like they took the trolley problem and the butterfly effect and just decided, we'll make a game about that and we'll figure it out along the way. I don't think, I don't think any of this has led me to a satisfying conclusion because, again, there's nothing saying I don't go back in the past, save Chloe, and try and evacuate the town like this is just another one of those situations where words would solve a lot
and they're asking me to choose between Chloe and Arcadia Bay. Obviously, I'm going to choose Arcadia Bay. I'm not going to let possibly hundreds of people die. Like, that's that seems very obvious. Max? It's time. Not anymore. Did I hit the wrong button? What happened? Why did you throw away the thing? Max. Why did you why did you why did she tear it? Why did she tear it? I'm so confused. I said save Arcadia Bay, right? No 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 no! What the fuck? Wait a minute! I said save Arcadia Bay, right? I sacrificed Arcadia Bay! Okay. I, I, I killed the I killed the game in enough time, but it gave me some time to think. It's not about the way they've chosen to phrase this. It's not save Chloe or save Arcadia Bay. It's sacrifice. It's asking me to it's asking me to pretend I'm actually killing someone, which is not the choice at all. And that's and I think that's the central tenet of the trolley problem. Like, is me doing something to improve a situation that I was in no way responsible for does that make the bad part of the outcome my fault and it doesn't Max it's time like they Go want me to feel like I'm killing somebody I'm and so, I'm not so sorry. I, I don't want to do this if I chose if I caused the storm I know Max Sacrifice to Chloe to. We is, have to save everybody. is to do nothing. Okay? And you'll make those fuckers pay for what they did to Rachel. Exactly. This isn't a total wash. Like, if I go Being back and have Jefferson week. arrested, this is it great. the best farewell gift I could have hoped for. You're my hero, Max. Mm. Oh, Chloe. I'm gonna miss you so much. you now get out of here please do it before I freak and Max Caulfield don't you forget about me mm, 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 mm. but that's the thing that's just getting me about all of this I get that games like this have to have limited options but to pretend that those limited options are are, are are things I chose, that's, ugh. Like, no, there are clearly alternatives that aren't what you presented to me, and I'm not even close to considering that the choices you gave me are somehow my fault. It's cool, Nathan. Don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just come to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. You don't know who the fuck I am or who also, you're messing around with. what are the odds that this would have happened in the what first place? That? Chloe sets up a meeting at a school on, that she was expelled down. from in a room that the other person shouldn't even be in. The odds of me even being present for this are so slim if anybody had any common sense. Get that gun away from me, psycho!
Good question. What happens to Nathan in this reality? Because he's murdered somebody. Like, like he, there's no way he's getting out of this. Oh no. Oh no. Oh right, I do have to go back to the future. I forgot I was in a photo. Okay. David arrests him. Uh, Nathan goes to jail. Jefferson's arrested. Hopefully because Nathan flipped on him. Is it the parents and apologize? Say they're sorry for what happened? Lonely with a teddy bear. Oh. Still get the dad camera. Without Jefferson, did Kate try and kill herself? Now that I'm thinking about it, in the quote-unquote fixed timeline, Arcadia Bay and Chloe would have died. I guess either one would be... I don't know. I think, and it's so bad, it's so sad that I came in here, like, super excited, because it was like, okay, I didn't see the story going this way, what can we make of it, and then, it, I don't know, it's almost as if she learned nothing over the course of this week. Like, so many of these problems could have been solved with a little bit of elaboration, or a simple change in what was said. And it was even a function of the game, learning new information, going back, and changing what our options were. And then, there were points in the story where they wouldn't let me rewind, and they wouldn't give me better options that would easily solve my problems. Instead, they wanted me to do some kind of convoluted thing. Like, I think the sequence where Max is trying to avoid David getting hit, I think there were far more obvious solutions to that that would have saved so much time for, I think, everyone involved. Because David has a gun. Like, as soon as Jefferson had the tripod in his hands, he doesn't have the thing to... He doesn't have the syringe to go hide behind me. Like, a simple better instruction for how to come around that corner is a real sticking point for me. Like, it just... Like, giving me bad choices and then trying to make me feel bad for the bad choices you gave me, it's... It, it really soured how I feel about this whole thing.
for a second. <laughs> I thought it was going to be like some secret government agent that gave me time travel powers to see what I would do with them. like that smile <laughs> that smile almost makes me feel like oh i fucked up we're gonna see chloe again oh pass all right okay it's a 50 50 almost a 50 50 split that's really interesting that was really the only choice i was given in that episode wasn't it oh my god oh polaroid Did they get the rights to use the Polaroid name in this game? Jeez. Okay. Man. So now I've got to decide if I want to play two. And since I started playing this, three was announced. That's interesting. Let me know what you think. Till the next video, stay safe, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you around. Sorry, it's been a minute. Um, and it's just been, like, plaguing my mind, like, you know, what if? My pot. It's from Max. Is this true? <laughs> Here we go. No way. That's not mine. Oh, of course not. I'm sure Chloe gets all the best shit, right? I'm sure she gave you good friend rates. Why don't you get off my crack? Stop taking your war rage out on high school girls. You haven't seen rage, you little- Fuck you, pig! Oh, goddamn! Oh, wait, he did that anyway. I... Listen. You asked for that. You know exactly what you're doing. I can already tell from today that you're trouble, Max. I hope this doesn't affect your status at Blackwell. Don't ever come back here. Listen, dipshit, if you ever lay a hand on me again, I'll have your ass in jail. Then you can guard yourself all night. You're the ones who'll end up in jail. Oh, you only think you're tough and clever. This too shall pass. And clean this pigsty up. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm sorry, happier with Chloe, my first choice. I didn't know what to do. Whatever. Everybody bails on me. Even my best friend, Max, don't you? <laughs> oh my god. I'm so done with everybody in this town. I wish I hadn't even seen you. As if you care. Color me out of here. <laughs> okay. God, I kind of wish I had played from this perspective. Like, like I just ruined everything. <laughs> David was such a mean bastard to Chloe. What if I had stepped up to help? <laughs> Like, how is this salvageable? Oh, God, it's whatever. I just wanted to see that part. Bye. <laughs>